So today I want to bring you exclusive proof of AH and her paid harassers going out and attacking Jason Momoa and his fans and doing that with bots. That's right. You can see a demonstration right here running. They posted this. They're proud of it. They're showing exactly what they can do. You and I, we're going to go through that. We're going to go through how they're doing it, what they're posting and on. And here's the thing to really leave you with, too. If they're doing that with these conversations, what else are they doing that with? What else are they doing behind the scenes that they don't want you to see? Fun times, huh? Fun times indeed. So, hey there to all you fine, fine folks on this fine, fine day. I hope you are doing excellently. And just to make sure that everyone can see that this is an attack on Jason Momoa, it's an attempt to hijack conversations to make them about AH, I've taken a screenshot of the topic that they're aiming at. Notice that here. Topic. Jason Momoa. Now, this is the conversation topic that they're taking, so this would be the thread here. He definitely has fame, and he doesn't want it. He has advantage, but he doesn't need it, and he definitely has all of our hearts. Now, I don't know a lot about bots, but lucky for me, they decided that they would add in a demonstration as well. That's right. They are so brazen about this. They posted a demonstration of how this thing would work, and they also bragged about how easy this was to do. They said that they could do this in under two hours. So, they take a conversation about Jason Momoa. They decide that they're going to add over 10 thousand compliments to it. Those 10,000 compliments, by the way, they could have been anything at all. They could add any type of conversation to this. But, I mean, you see what they're doing here. They're flooding things with conversations that really, they're not about her at all. They never were about her, but they make this about her, making people think that she has backing when she absolutely doesn't. You saw how people reacted to her before. So this this is what they're doing. And again, they could do this to any conversation out there. Now, if you're wondering about the comments that are being left on this, too, well, they decided that they were going to include all of their scripting notes. And these scripting notes, gosh, there's a lot of this stuff. 10,031 lines all told. Again, over 10,000 comments about AH. And I mean, think about this in practical use. You have Jason Momoa. He decides to post something or you have a fan. They are either complimenting, you know, because Jason Momoa said something, they're commenting right under it, or they're complimenting him with their own post. What happens here? You have 10,000 comments come in. They flip the script. They make it about her. They push Jason Momoa to the side. Like I said, this is an attack. And also, you've seen the comments conversations of late. If they can do this with a compliment bot, what are they doing with other bots? I think you know the answers to that. And some of this stuff is quite manipulative too. I mean, look at number two, for example. This really stuck out to me. And you see more of these as well. She is beautiful inside and out. I'm lucky to have her in my life and even luckier to be in hers. Now, I wonder, is that random comment is that indication of somebody that's part of this because we've seen what kind of actors are in her life that have been doing this type of stuff gets the old noggin jogging doesn't it look at the rest of this stuff too love her she's so cool i would love to meet her she's my type of girl she's clever she's independent she's beautiful she's ferociously honest i've never had a girl crush like female crush I have a crush on A.H. She knows the real beauty of her smiles radiant, her face, her smile, her eyes, her hair. She's perfect. Again, this goes on forever, too. I mean, like I said, you have hundreds and hundreds of scripted comments. They bring in people, you know, honestly, I'm more of a Chris Hemsworth type. This girl is like the new Jennifer Lawrence or something. She's going to be the next big thing because she's so awesome. They throw in other people's names. Again, they make it sound like she's getting comparisons. You know, you're drawing parallels to people that are famous. Oh, she's going to be the next big thing out there. And none of this. I mean, absolutely Absolutely none of it is real. 
Now, like I said, there are multiple demonstrations of this, too. And what they're trying to demonstrate isn't just what they can do, but how they can do it. You know, how quickly they can post comments there, how lifelike they can make this, because they want to make it look as real as possible, like she has support. Again, when you look at all of those likes, all of those retweets, those people that she hired to try to call out bots, yeah, look at this behavior right here. Again, Look at how they're manufacturing their comments, manufacturing quite a few compliments as well. Notice right there, 9,614 compliments. It's jumped up 10 through this demonstration. So they're timing it. They're trying to make the pattern look as real as possible. And what is absolutely astounding about this is that you have people that claim connection to AH's team. One of these people, in fact, was in the courtroom. They were one putting out handbills trying to sway jurors to either vote AH's way or to trigger a mistrial. This person, though, they have been in direct communication with Eve Barlow. They were in direct communication with Roberta Kaplan, which was the ex-lawyer for AH. And here they are. They're talking about bots. They're talking about help bots. And they're talking about how they reply too quickly, making it sound like to me they've already tried this before, but they couldn't get the kinks out. Does anyone know how to make quote unquote help bots? I would like to know how they do reply too quickly. Like I said, that makes it sound like they're trying to get their timing down. You can hire people but it's very expensive. How is it expensive? I don't think it is. Everything is outsourced to other countries. There are some pieces of software that you can purchase for about a hundred bucks, so it sounds like people may have been trying to figure this out, may have been trying to get this software together. Then you have someone come in and say, why exactly are we wanting to buy bots here? Well, it's an almost fact. I mean, look at this. It's an almost fact. How is something an almost fact? Don't really know, but hey, it works good as an excuse, right? That JD's PR agency bought Twitter bots to try to influence people against AH, just wondering what it would cost to do the same. You can buy software for just a hundred bucks. Where? I do wonder about the same. And then this other person talks after that about fake followers. Yeah, the very people making claims about bots being utilized, the very people hiring bully for hire companies trying to shut people down are building up scripts to do this type of stuff and more. And if they're doing that, well, what else are they doing behind the scenes? We already know that, by the way. They dox, they file false police police reports. All of that has been proven. I can bring that up if they want to try to deny it too. Oh, we can prove it 100%. But yeah, I mean, let me know what you think about this. And as always, appreciate the heck out of you. If you want to help out the channel even more, we can use your help. These folks have been coming after us hard for talking about the truth, but we have links in the description. We have PayPal, Locals, join it for sure. Check out our comic book as well. That's how you fight these companies. But you being here, that's fighting back as well. Thank you. I appreciate you. Until next time, see you soon.